centrally inserted central lines are different from peripherally inserted central lines here in terms that they insert it directly in a central vein assuming this is femoral it's not femoral but assuming so this is ij and this is subclavian and this is superior vena cava so if you insert the line directly into these central lines sorry central veins these are centrally inserted central lines compared to peripherally inserted central line and again this can be internal jugular central line subclavian central line on the right or left and femoral central line the femoral vein left and right again this is not femoral but assuming this is femoral vein the difference between the peripherally inserted central catheter and centrally inserted central catheter i can say that the risk of venous thrombosis is less with the centrally inserted central line the clotting also of the lines is less clotting in these lines compared in the centrally inserted central lines compared to the pick line infection wise it's really comparable because it depends on your techniques in keeping the lines sterile clean how you take care of your line there is more venous stenosis um, sometimes with pick line because they stay longer of course these central lines centrally inserted central lines are short term and indications for them are similar to the indication of pick line we just mentioned in pick line videos and we add to that because this central line can be the regular one that we use in IC in critically ill uh, triple lumen catheters or dual lumen catheters or single lumen catheters just the number of ports that we use i always prefer to place triple lumen catheter that will give us more ports also in the centrally inserted central lines there is something called cordis which is a central line usually dual lumen catheter and large bore ports they are larger diameters and mainly used in or and surgery because they are suitable and great for large volume resuscitations also to the large bore catheter in the centrally inserted central line we have the dialysis catheters and mainly talking about temporary dialysis catheter that can be inserted in the femoral in the ij or subclavian they are large bore catheter because you need to shift large volume of blood during dialysis so uh, these are the main and again all of them are short term whether uh, the regular a triple lumen catheter or the cordis the regular diameter or the larger diameter the cordis and dialysis catheter um, of course for dialysis if you decide that this patient needs long term or permanent dialysis you switch to the permanent dialysis catheter like permaca the tunneled catheters all these catheters are non tunneled catheters because they're not they don't have a tract underneath the skin we'll continue next video